Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 20 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So in the last episode we did end the episode in 11th place in the league table which is really really good. We do have a game in hand as well but in this episode we are going to be playing the second half of December as we only played the first half in the last episode. We do have Everton, Leicester, Wolves and West Ham so we're going to play two and simulate two as well. And the two games I am going to play are the Leicester and Wolves games because those are the two teams that are currently above us in the league table literally exactly the next two places above us as you can see we have Wolves and Leicester and we have a game in hand as well so if we somehow manage to get all six points from those two games we could be looking at a top half finish come the end of the episode of course that depends on how the simulator games go as well but I think that'd be quite an interesting way to do it so I'm going to simulate uh, the Everton game and the West Ham game as well and then of course we'll be ending the episode and we'll be going in to the January transfer window so if there's anything you want to suggest you're more than welcome but as you can see we have next to nothing in the transfer budget and I don't really feel like selling anyone if you guys have any ideas then of course you can let me know or any players I'll always add them to the, to the uh, shortlist anyway regardless of whether we do or don't do anything in the transfer window anyway but let's get straight into it and we will simulate the first game of the episode away from home against Everton now I'm not looking forward to this because we just don't win simulated games and we lose 2-0. Of course we do. Simulate must literally mean lose in the Premier League. <laughs> Basically just forfeiting games. But next up, we are going to be taking on Leicester, who are currently ninth in the league. And with a win, we could potentially leapfrog them, depending on their goal difference. I'm not too sure. We'll have a quick look at that, just in case. Goal difference, 5. So if we beat them 3-0 or 4-0, then we definitely have... The, uh, the capabilities of leapfrogging them, but I doubt we're going to win 3 or 4-0. But a win would be nice either way, so let's go sort our team out. And this is the team we're going to go with. We have Rose in goal, John Pinnock, Twanzerby and Hoover across the back with Brown Hill and Mumbra in the middle. Paulinho on the right, we have Robinson on the left because Marin, his fitness isn't fantastic for this game. Woodburn as the cam and Parrot up top. Let's get into it. And here we are at a really wet stage in my life this evening as we do welcome... Leicester City. Leicester is certainly a team that I massively, massively admire right now in real life. I just think they've probably got the best project in England. In terms of they've got a lot of youth coming through, a lot of exciting players. Tielemans I'm a massive, massive fan of. Chilwell, you know, players like that. Madison, some great, great players across their side. Can we get a result here at home? Now here is Mumba from distance. He does go for it and it's a decent effort actually from Bolly Mumba. But the keeper holds it easily enough. Oh, that's lovely stuff now. First time over the top four. Ben Woodburn, it's a bit of a big touch. He does strike it, Woodburn. That is absolutely terrible. I could have sweated it, but I thought he would easily be able to bury that in the bottom corner. Oh, he's absolutely scuffed it. Here is Jesse Lingard, former Manchester United man. Out wide to Silva. Justin... Oh, this is good football for Leicester now. Really good football in actual. This is really good interchange and play. Getting to him. Well in Swansea What a ball that is by Mumba too. Robinson. Go on, cut inside if you can. It is. Robinson. Still Robinson. One more touch. Then strike it, son. It's an absolute beauty by Robinson. It is a counter-attack of dreams. What a strike that was, son. Lovely, lovely football. He's cut inside Chowdhury there. One touch. Then another. Then bang. And he just drifts beautifully into that top right-hand corner. What a strike that was. And what a signing this lad has been. Keeper has absolutely no chance. And that is Robinson's third goal of the season. Leicester do have a free kick now. Tillemans to get it into the box. He has whipped it in and it's a terrible cross that's gone out for a goal kick. And there's the half-time whistle and it's another really good performance. It's another team in which, you know, we come up against, we allow them possession but we keep our shape really well, we defend really well and we get them on the counter-attack and that's exactly what's happened again today with a brilliant, brilliant goal from Robinson. Go and get to him, get to him. It's a good chance. Is he an actual holding the play up but we are defending and not giving him much, but that's a good effort. And it's a good save by Rosen goal. Here is Robinson now. Help him out. Go on, Declan John. Make your move. It is Declan John. Go on, son. You've got the pace. Can he knock it across goal? There are plays there. Can he get his head on it? It has been headed away. And they're going to clear it. It's our counter-attack that is just so lethal. You have such pace down the wings to really cause problems for any team in this league. Oh, no. Here is Ian Acho now. Out wide for Silver. 
Again, keeping onto the ball really well, but just close them down. Don't let them get the ball in. They have done, but we've managed to get it away. That's as close as Leicester are getting. We're limiting them to just random crosses, and we're dealing with them quite easily, really. The bombing down the left hand side now, and it is a player that I'm not going to try and pronounce. It's a ball in, get their first rose. Oh no, this is a good chance. That's been headed, and it's one all. Oh shit, I was just saying how well we've been defending, and then we go and concede with just over 10 minutes left. So, ball in from the left hand side, Rose's punch is straight into the danger zone, and it has been headed with a, with a goal gaping, an empty goal to go for. And there we are, it's Adrian Silva with his fourth goal of the season. Leicester captain, come on. Both Nemecha and Hanlon are both going to come on. We're going to go to a 4-4-2 for the final 10-11 minutes. See if we can maybe get ourselves a winner here. But with Leicester dominating so much in terms of possession, it's difficult to see where this counter attack's going to come from. As you can see, they just keep hold of the ball for such long periods. And then we just try and get them on the break. Oh no, it is a good chance now for Leicester. It has been whipped in. It's a save. Just a minute or so left. And it's a Leicester corner. Our substitutes haven't even touched the ball because Leicester have had it the whole time. Get it away. May as well just blow the whistle, ref. You may as well, mate. Just blow it. There we go. One all. Not quite the result we wanted or deserved, I don't think. Leicester again. Dominated possession. Every team we come up against dominate possession. But our counter-attack is so, so lethal. And we have defended brilliantly well for the majority of the game. One little poor bit of judgment from Rose with his punch made it easy for Adrian Silva to, uh, to give them the equaliser and get Leicester a point. And that result sees us 11th in the league. But now we do take on Wolves in just a moment. And we are just a point behind them. So we could potentially still sit in the top half of the league come the end of the episode but that does mean we need to get a win in this game and then hopefully get a result in the simulator game which probably isn't going to happen but we shall see and this is the team that we're going to go with at the Molyneux we have Rose in goal we have Hume, Pinnock, Twanzeby and O'Neill across the back with Brownhill and Dobson in the middle we have Paulinho on the right we have Marin on the left we have Powell coming in as the cam and Nemecha coming in today 78 rated Nemecha can he get us a win today let's get into it and here we are at the Molyneux they do go a bit over the top, don't they, with all the the fireworks and the flames and stuff like that. But it does look pretty cool, to be fair. You have to give it in. But we do take on Wolves. It is a mid-table clash. Can we get back to winning ways and get three points away from home? Well in, Dobson. Keeping hold of the ball. Gets it in towards Marin. Go on, son. You little magician. Get away from him. There you go, Marin. Taking the absolute piss here. It's still Marin. Turn him, son. Look at him. He's taking the mick out of him. Marin, all the way. Oh, I was just about to pull the trigger. Oh, I've taken the piss there a bit too much, haven't I? Probably should have shot a little bit earlier, but it is our magician. It is our wizard, and I thought I'd be able to get away with it. Now, here is Brown Hill from distance. Cut inside. Well in. And again, on to George Dobson. Can he get it in? He can it. It's Brownhill. Can he get there? He does not get there. What on earth was that? It was like the tackling animation when I wanted him to shoot. And it gives the ball away. Well in, pal. Keep going, son. It is pal. Get it out wide. He does. For Antonio Marin. He finds. Oh, he does try and find a match of that, but that's a terrible challenge there. By the Wolves centre-back. Nicely done then. It is Twanzeby. Captain Twanzeby coming down to the byline now. Dicks it across goal towards Hume. He gets his hand in it. Still in. There we go. And it is Paulinho who gets the goal. Get in, son. It's a really, really well worked free kick. Captain Twanzeby with a lovely dick ball across goal. Hume manages to get it across. And there is Paulinho, the Brazilian, who knocks it in. So a pretty simple tap in. And that is his first goal for us, believe it or not. He's racking up the assist this season, Paulinho. But he hasn't got a goal yet until now. Get in. Now oh, here is Luke O'Neill coming down the right hand side. It's a ball in towards Dobson. It's a big touch from Dobson. He does get it across goal and it's been cleared away. Still have the ball in possession with us though. It is Powell. He does manage to wrestle past his man. He's really, really good at that. He does get it out wide as well for Denver Humes. Cut forward. Flicks it back towards Powell really nicely. Brownhill. And again for Dobson. From distance. Dobson. And it's a... Cracking effort. It's a good save. And there goes half-time whistle. And it is a similar sight. We are currently at one goal to the good. But can we actually keep it that way this time? Or at least add to it rather than conceding an equaliser in the dying moments. 
This is good stuff now, and I can see Paulinho with plenty of space now. Go and get it him. Get it him. Keep going, son. It is Paulinho. Pull it back. Still Paulinho. Go on, get another one, son. I hit the post, and it's been cleared away. Paulinho, he gets his first goal for the club, and nearly gets his second in the same game. But now we do have Brownhill from distance. Go on, have a crack. So it's Brownhill. Oh my God! It's an absolute beauty from Josh Brownhill. What an absolute rocket! That was. We just missed a great chance. And now it falls to Brownhill. And what a strike. The power on that was absolute insanity. What a goal, son. Maybe one of the best goals we've scored so far this series, that. It was just the power of the shot. It's got an absolute rifle of a right foot. Get in. It is Acosta now. Tries to dink one into the box. And that's all they've really had today. Just random hoofs into the box. We've dealt with them. Quite easily, very similar to the Leicester game, really, but they did manage to get a goal, so can't criticise them too much. But now here is the match. Can he get the first? He can't. Ah, oh. oh, this is good play now, though, from Wolves, and it is Bennett with loads of space down this left hand side. Hold him up, hold him up, and it's another ball that's just terrible. But it's been parried and tipped over the bar by Rose. Now here is Paulinho now, who's absolutely exhausted, but he's still going. The Brazilian cuts inside beautifully. Still Paulinho, still Paulinho, dink across goal. Surely referee, that has to be a penalty. How on earth has that not been given? He's been taken out from behind. Referee doesn't give anything, but he does give the final whistle a blow. And it is 2-0. We've managed to get three points at the Molyneux. A great, great three points. It's a great performance. Two really good performances, to be fair, but against both Leicester and the Wolves, where we just defended brilliantly, didn't allow them anything really. It was a shame that we did manage to concede <laughs> against Leicester, but this is a really good performance today at the Molyneux. And that victory does see us sit in 10th place in the league, but now we are going to be simulating the final game of the episode against West Ham, which, again, we just seem to lose every single simulated game. But a win here could see us solidify our top half place for... Uh, this episode at least anyway come on lads get us our first win in a simulated game in the prem come on and we lose 2-0 of course we lose 2-0 sakai the left back getting a brace for west ham and that defeat sees a slip down to 12 but we're still some way apart from the rest in terms of uh, the bottom half of the table we're still six points ahead of bournemouth who are one place behind us so we're still doing really really well but this is where the end of the episode is going to be guys we'll have a quick recap of the league table we have City still undefeated at the end of the year. First in the table, 57 points. That is absolutely class. Liverpool in second, Spurs in third, Man United in fourth and Chelsea in fifth. Now the bottom of the league looks like this. Aston Villa, Brighton and Crystal Palace who have only won one of their 21 Premier League games so far this season. They're having a really terrible time of it. But that will be the end of the episode, guys. If you have enjoyed, please hit the like button for me. It would be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.